Hello, this is Ambient Flash. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna explain how you can create new document and how you can move image or text in the document. So let's start. I like click on File and New. There is a lot of pre settings here. You say Recent, Saved, Photo, Print, Art, Illustration, Web, Mobile, and Film and Video. So let me say I wanna make a printed document. And you, here you can click View All Presets. There is pretty much every paper size if you want to make some document in the right paper size for printing. Here we can click an A3 document and you will see the size and the resolution. 300 is good enough for, for printing purposes. If you use a web document, for web, the the pixels per inch is 72 and for print it's 300. So let's se select A3 size and here you can see in the width it's shown in the pixels, inches, centimeters, millimeters. So I will select the millimeters and here is the resolution, the height and the width. There is a color mode and there is a background color. I will select the white, click create. Now you have in a new document and the background is with the white color. Right click on a background, you can select a layer from the background and click OK. Now the layer is uh, the background is now in a separate layer and let, let me say I want to bring something into this document and I'll be using the Battlefield 1 logo it opens here in a different document now uh, this is the open document and here you have the A3 size document which I just made so I want to uh, move this text into the document like you see it's now in a separate layer I will uh, select the layer here with my left mouse and I will drag it in the this document and here and release. Now you see the text is too large for this document. I will select the lasso tool or if you want there is quick commands pretty much for every operation in the Photoshop. And if you want to see the, all the quick commands you will go on edit and a keyboard shortcuts. Here you can change the shortcuts or you can, if you want you can learn them, write them down or whatever. It makes everything much smoother and faster. So I will take the free transform tool. It, it works if you have the lasso and you can click free transform here. So I want to make this now smaller and like you see it's very large I and I cannot see the the outer lines of this layer. So I will click Ctrl and minus. It zooms out. And if you want to zoom in, it's Ctrl plus. And now let's make it smaller. You see here in the corners where you can uh, make the, and move it around with the mouse. So this is very important thing when you are making image smaller. You go on a corner and hold down shift. It means it stays in the right dimensions. If you want to go step back, you control alt and Z. Now if you go on the same and you click shift and alt together, you hold them down and then you drag, you see what happens. It stays in the middle of the image here. Or if you want to rotate the image, if you hold down shift also in this point, you can just make it, it automatically shows the degrees. Now it's 90 degrees, now it's zero, and it's pretty good. You, you can click on a decrease here if you want 90, it automatically go 90 here, and let's put it back on a zero and click enter. There you go. There is also in a free transform tool, if you right click here, 
you can automatically click it. Uh, rotate 180, 90 clockwise, 90 counterclockwise, or if you want to flip horizontal, or if you want to flip vertical. That is also very, very handy when making selections. So let's make this now smaller here. To duplicate this layer, I want to make exactly the same of this layer, copy of this layer. You can click here and duplicate layer and click OK. Now there is two, but they are on uh, top of each other, so you can't see the other one. I want to center this other one in exactly middle of this image. You select the background layer and hold down Ctrl and click the layer with the left mouse. Then I will select the layer I want to be centered. I click on it, now it's active. And click on a tool for my move tool. And there you can see there is align vertical centers, align horizontal centers. When you click on align vertical centers, it vertically centers the layer. And when you click on here, uh, it was this side in the center. So then I will make D select with Ctrl and D. Now when you click on here you see there is another a copy of this layer. If you want to name the layers you double click here. You click here one and two. Now they are named. If you want to make a select multiple layers at once, you can click and hold down control, then you make uh, multiple selections. Or there is another way, you click on one layer and hold down shift, and when you click on another layer, it selects every layer between these. Uh, you can make a group it's like a folder which contains many layers. If I select these three layers here and I click on a folder here, it says create new group. Now every layer I selected are now in this group. And if you make some changes into this group, it applies to these three layers. Uh, example, if I click on a blending options here and let's go for a color overlay now it makes this every layer colored with green. But yeah, I want to go back, Ctrl Alt C. Okay. Next, open another image into this. Uh, let's take this uh, battlefield one female character here. This time there is in the background of this layer, it's not movable layer like the previous one. You can, you can uh, apply layer from the background and you can drag it into the document here. Now the layer is top of the all layers. You can also name, name it if you want. And you can drag the layer behind the other layers. And now the battlefield text Stop of this layer. If I want to make this as a larger, if you click on a convert to smart object on the layer, now you see this icon here. And if you make the layer smaller or larger, it will stay in the uh, uh, quality. It basically means the image stays in, in quality if you make it smaller and bigger again. But anyway, always if you make image larger than it, it was in actual size, it will lose the quality. So that's not very good when you're making image larger. You can make it a little bit larger, but if you make like many times larger, it loses quality a lot. And the quality is always what you are looking for when you are making some kind of a editing. And here you see there is a uh, blending settings for the layers. If you have selected layer, now the text layer, here you can see the list of different kind of settings for the layer. 
if I click on dissolve and you're gonna scroll these with the arrow keys up and down if you change the layer setting you can have a pretty cool effect just by making this and when you move it and if you move a, a text layer or whatever layer if you hold down the shift and drag it up it stays in this uh, upper position if you move it like a mouse like this it's very hard if you want to move it to the left it automatically goes a little bit up or down so just hold shift and same for the left and the right okay if I want to align it here in the center here I make the selection here and this and move it in the center there you go this is too large I want to make it the white areas disappear so I will click on a, a crop tool click on a crop tool and with this tool you can make the whole document smaller and when when I make this smaller it's not anymore in an A3 size so I'll click here and here let's add the smoke effect using the smoke wallpaper which has black background here and I will use the marquee rectangular marquee tool and I will make select it here or you can make the new layer whatever and you can paste it if I want to paste it between two layers I can paste it with control V there you go now when I go into the blending settings options here and I select screen it automatically removes the black color from this layer if you want to make a uh, smoke effect like this it is pretty simple but you see there is some lines here which you want to erase and if you want to erase something from image it's very good and the best way to make a layer mask layer mask works with the white and black color in this layer so I will select the brush here and the brush size I will make a small larger here you go and you will select the opacity it means how much percentually it is uh, brushing now so I'll take like 38 and I will select the brush which has hardness is zero so I'll zoom in on this layer the layer mask is active now and I will brush on the sides and you see the sharp edges of the smoke layer disappears and if you want to bring it back you change the color to white and brush it there you go I have seen many people still using the eraser yes sure you can make with eraser but with eraser you cannot come steps back anymore and let me say I want to make here some kind of edges into this image to make it look so I will click on a mark your tool or you can just simply make selection around the whole image clicking here if you uh, make the selection hold down control and click the layer then it will make the selection of this layer if you if I click on control and click on the text layer it makes a selection around the edges here so I will make selection here and I will go and select and modify and click on you can even go for if you want border but I'm not let's see let's click border and let make pixels like 75 and click OK now it makes a borders in here let's say I want to color these borders with a different color I click here a new layer and click solid color now it makes these uh, line edges with this color if you wonder what is the now the image size you can always go and click in image and image size 
Now you see the size in millimeters and if you want in the pixels. Thank you for watching this tutorial and there will be more even complicated tutorial telling you some uh, advanced tips and you can create something like this. This is Ambient Flush, see you guys in the next video.